At this point, the members of the MAGA movement have been being conned by Donald Trump since 2015. So we're talking nine years almost since Donald Trump descended that escalator and continued to fleece these people for everything they had. He did it during the 2016 campaign by telling them that all your problems are caused by the people coming across the border. That wasn't true. He did it while he was president going out there and promising them, I'm bringing jobs here. I'm bringing the carrier jobs. I'm bringing the automobile industry jobs. You didn't deliver on any of those. We got the Foxconn jobs in Wisconsin. That didn't happen. And then of course, during COVID, oh, it'll be over by Easter. And if not, we got some bleach. You just injected in there with the light treatment and yeah, sure. It's great. And then the farce of the 2020 election being stolen from him, fleecing his supporters out of over a hundred million dollars. These people have been conned and conned and conned and they still fall for it today. So should we even feel sorry for these people at this point? Well, that brings me to my next question. This is from user Orinoco 500 who asks, <clears throat> Do we really need to try and save some people on the MAGA cult? I am tired of the news and commentators feeling sorry for them and want to pull them out, but I think they are beyond that and they're actually happy being that way. I don't disagree with you. These people, in fact, in recent interviews have even told, you know, reporters and, and commentators that, listen, we're okay with Donald Trump using our political donations to pay his legal fees. Some have gone as far as to say, if I knew that's what he was using it for, I'd have given him more, even though he's allegedly a billionaire. They like it. They enjoy being fleeced at this point. So no, we should not feel sympathy when they shell out a hundred dollars to buy his latest NFT collection. We should not feel sorry. A fool and their money are soon parted. Some of these people, of course, are in dire financial situations themselves, but they still give him money. And after eight, nine years of it, I have no sympathy for these people, but it's not just their money that they have given up. Many of them have given up their personal freedoms by committing illegal acts to support him. Most specifically, obviously the Capitol rioters. People who have gone in front of judges and bawled their eyes out saying I was duped. Oh God, I'm so sorry for what I did. And the judge says, that's cool. Psst, prison. I have no sympathy for those people because we told y'all for years and years and years and years that you were being conned. At this point, you get what you deserve, but I'm going to go even one step further. It's not just the MAGA people. It's Republican voters in general. And again, I'll take it back to Reagan. Reagan burst onto the scene and said, we got to get rid of the unions. You're paying money to these people and they're, they're pocketing and they're getting rich themselves. You know what, what to do with your job. You can do it better than a union. We killed the unions in the eighties. And we also killed the middle class by doing it. Reagan told us as HW Bush then told us and W Bush told us and Trump told us later on. They all told us if we give more tax breaks to rich people, it's going to trickle down to you. They're going to give you that money. They don't want that money. They want to give it to you. Never happened. Republicans have been getting fleeced and fleeced and fleeced. Their politicians, the people they put up for office, that's what they do. They con them. They either con them with these promises that we're going to give you these great things, or they con you with the promises of, oh, we're going to fix this problem. We're going to solve immigration. No, you're not. The U S chamber of commerce wants as many people as possible coming across that Southern border. They've got all the money, all the money you rely on for your campaigns comes from the people who are members of the chamber of commerce. You're not going to solve anything because they want that free, cheap labor. And they're fleecing their supporters into thinking, we're going to close that border down on day one. No, you're not. Because your donors would have you out of office with a single phone call if you tried to do that. Again, the voters get fleeced. So it's not just Trump. He has certainly taken it to a new level. But the fleecing of Republicans is a more than 40-year effort that continues to this day.